Hey guys, it's Mari. I'm here today with a card making process video and I'm going to be using the really adorable little stamp set called Sushi Date from My Favorite Things. And I'm going to start out here by just taking some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm just stamping out a bunch of these little lanterns from the, st from the stamp set. And then I'm going to be taking some Copic markers and I'm going to color these little lanterns in. You can see that I've already got one done there. I just tried that out off camera just to see if I liked the color of these two markers together for this purpose. And I liked that so I just went ahead with it and I'm just showing you here the Copic coloring for these little lanterns. So this next little section is just going to be me stamping out the different images and then doing the coloring. So I will do a little bit of narration through this and then I will just pump up the tunes here for you and let you watch and listen to the music while I finish the Copic coloring and then I'll come back on uh, here and there just to do a little more narration. So I'm just taking my white gel pen to add a little more detail to the image of the lanterns. And I don't know, for some reason that Kim Mitchell song Patio Lanterns was playing through my head the whole time. I actually thought that would be a really great um, background song for this layout. That thumbs down right there is because I'm actually watching Homeland on Netflix while I'm crafting on this occasion and Brody just died in this specific ep episode. Sorry about that. I probably shouldn't have told you that because it's kind of a spoiler alert, but um, anyways, it was really sad and I just felt really bad for um, the main character, I'm trying to remember her name right now. You guys are all screaming it at me right now, but anyways, I love that show. Um, I'm using warm grays here for my little panda. I am putting up the Copic marker colors on the screen for you here so that you can see what colors I'm using for the different little parts of my little um, panda sushi chef. Anyways, I do not know what color sushi is because I have never tried it. So I had to actually search Google images for all of my little sushi um, bits and pieces here to know what colors to <laughs> color them. That probably sounds really lame, but I actually bought this set for the purpose of making cards for my son because he is a sushi junkie. He absolutely loves it. And he's been trying to get me to try sushi for a really long time. And it does not appeal to me. I'm sorry, but for all those sushi lovers out there, I just, mm, I don't know. Ah, I just can't, I can't seem to get myself to try it. I will one day. I feel as though I finally will eventually break down and try it, but I have not tried it yet. So we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, I'm going to just uh, put you on some music here and I'm going to let you listen away as I am doing my Copic coloring here. See you in a minute.
I'm going to take this pattern paper from my favorite things in black and white. I'm going to create a little frame for the front of my card and I just used a stitched rectangle scalloped edge frame for my favorite things to create this frame and I'm going to just trace or just create a tiny little mark there on the front of my card so that I can see where that frame is going to be and I want to just kind of create a little bit of background color for the little scene that I'm going to be creating. So I'm going to just take some peacock feathers um, distress ink and I'm going to use my distress tool here just to do some ink blending on my card front. I'm going to put the peacock feathers kind of at the top of that little area that I've marked off and then I'm going to use some twisted citron kind of at the bottom of the little area and I'm not worrying about how well this is blended because I'm going to splatter this with water and so it'll just kind of blend it'll look a little bit mottled and that's how I want it to look so I'm not being too careful with getting um, you know a perfect blend with my blending tool so I'm just going to um, go ahead here and now and add my twisted citron I've just taken a little piece of um, white cardstock just to hang on to the card and to create a little bit of an edge there so that I don't go outside of that penciled off area and because I really do want to contain that ink just to the area where that little scalloped rectangle is going to be and this is going to kind of create the illusion of a sky and then grass behind the little panda bear um, sushi chef he is so cute that little panda bear oh my gosh when I saw this um, stamp set I had to have it it's just so adorable and you know I don't think that there's a my favorite thing stamp set that comes out that I don't absolutely want like if I win the lottery I'm going to have every single stamp set that they ever come out with because I love them they're so cute so I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a dry now that I've spritzed it with some water. I just sopped up the extra water with a piece of paper towel. And now you can see how that's created the little area of color behind where my little rectangular frame is going to be. So I really like that. And I like the idea of containing my little scene inside of that rectangle. Now I've just taken a die that I have in my stash and I've created kind of like a little curved line. And that's going to be a little line for my lanterns to hang on. So they are kind of going to look like patio lanterns. Uh, don't worry, I won't break out into song or anything here. So I'm going to just take my little panda and my little panda is going to be holding that little wooden tray and the tray is going to have some of that little yummy sushi on there and a little bit of wasabi. And I'm actually going to um, take the, the extra little pieces that I've uh, colored and die cut and I'm going to put those on the inside of my card. So now what I did was I, I also took that bamboo stamp and die and I colored that and cut it out and that's going to be part of my card front and I took also took the um, stitched rectangle um, not stitch rectangle but stitch sentiment strips die and I created a little uh, sentiment strip for my card as well. Now I'm going to take my quick dry adhesive and I'm going to stick down all of the flat bits and then I'm going to pop some of the little sushi pieces up on some foam tape and just so that there's a little bit of dimension to my card front. So I'm just creating my little scene here using my glue. I'm gonna put that little tray in the panda's hands. Oh, sorry, pause. <laughs> and he's going to be serving up that sushi. So like I said, I'm just going to stick some of these down flat and then I'm going to take and pop a couple of the little pieces up. So one of the little sushi bits is popped up and the wasabi is also popped up. So I'm going to put the sentiment on the inside of my card because I didn't really like how it looked on the outside. And the sentiment is going to be your rawsome. And I love that. I love how that's um, on that little stitched sentiment strip. I think it's so cute. And then I'm gonna take my other little bits and pieces and stick them to the inside of my card. Now to finish up, I'm just going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella, which is so pretty on a card. Um, I'm going to also add a little bit of glossy accents to my little, little panda's eyes and some Wink of Stella to my sushi, to my little panda bear's paws and a little bit of a wink of Stella on the leaves on the bamboo tree that's to the right of my little panda bear. So I really love how this looks. I think it's a really adorable little card. 
Um, I like how the inside of it looks as well. It just has a really cute little inside to it that adds a little extra detail. And I end up taking my white gel pen and add, I add a little bit of, a few little white dots to my little panda bear's cap as well. Hey guys, if you enjoy watching me make cards and you wanna learn more about the card making process, you can come over to Big Picture Classes. I have a new card class up there called Crazy Cards for Kids where I make some a Chibitronics card and a bunch of really fun interactive cards. I'll leave the link down below for Big Picture Classes if you'd like to check that out. You can sign up for a two week trial if you've never tried it before. There's a lot of really great content over there on Big Picture Classes. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you another time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.